Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Jared from One Earth Mushrooms. So I have been working on this lime main project for a little while and just want to post a timeline of the mycelium colonizing the grain spawn. So I'm not going to talk a whole lot throughout the video. Um, just kind of wanted to show you guys how it looks coming throughout the colonization of grain spawn. So let's get right into it. So one thing you'll notice right from the beginning is on the agar, there's a couple orange dots there. And those are actually rust. Um, after I made the lids, I forgot to clean out the metal chips. And so I ended up getting a metal chip embedded uh, in the agar wedge and then it rusted. So day four is when mycelium really started to spread. So there was some little legs growing off on day four and then it just goes from there. The mycelium for lion's mane is really, really wispy. Uh, so it's kind of hard to see sometimes. I definitely notice the difference between day one and the final day. After the first week, I decided to mix it up, and from what I've read, you want to mix lines made up pretty often. One resource that I use quite a bit in this project is um, Fresh Cap Mushrooms. So he has a website and a lot of YouTube videos. Um, Tony, I think the guy's name is, but I would recommend checking him out. I'm in no way affiliated with Tony. Uh, I just like watching the stuff, so. You can see after the breakup, the mycelium is not nearly as strong, but on day nine, I started getting some more external uh, puffy mycelium, as you saw in that grain there. On the afternoon of day 10, I decided to give the grain another mix. I think this part was pretty cool and this chunk fell off um, and I tilted up. You can see that the inside of the grain mass is actually growing quite a bit of mycelium. Um, I mean, when I say quite a bit, compared to like an oyster mushroom, it's not nearly as white and fluffy, but compared to the outside of the jar, the inside definitely has a lot more. And from what I've read and what I understand, Lion's Mane likes to colonize from the inside out on grain. So I think that's kind of why you're not seeing a lot of external mycelium here. Um, it seems like most of it colonizes the inside of the grain pretty quickly and then you start to see it come out of the grain. Um, but if anyone has any other ideas on that, please let me know because I, I honestly don't know 100% sure that that's how that works. So on day 15, I finally did some math to figure out how much grain spawn is going to need. So I'm doing a five pound block of hardwood, uh, well, enriched hardwood. And I wanted to do about 20% uh, spawn to substrate, spawn to bulk substrate. So I needed a pound of grain spawn. So I did a grain to grain transfer onto some new grain. And here's a, just some quick clips from that. I'll post another video. Uh, by the time this video comes out, I think that green to green transfer will already be out. Um, I'll just put a link to that above here.
So the day after the grain to grain, I started noticing the mycelium was turning really white on the grains that had colonized before the transfer. And you can see some of the shells are kind of splitting open and the mycelium's coming out of it. The mycelium started to get a lot more fuzzy on about day 18. Here's a pretty good picture of that. Then on day 21, I'd say this is pretty much fully colonized. Um, on the next day, on day 22, we start seeing some hypal knot growth. So it looks like the start of what's going to be um, fruits there. So I think it's the right time for me to inoculate my fruiting block. And I'll have another video up with that soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know that's kind of a boring, just a series of pictures and uh, some quick clips. But, but if you had any curiosity about what mycelium on a green spawn looks like for lion's mane, I hope this was helpful. And as always, um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, um, I've been releasing videos every three days, and despite how difficult that can be to get videos out every three days, I intend on continuing to try, as long as I have decent content. I'm not going to just post crap every three days, but... Alright guys, uh, I'll see you around next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.